Welcome to a screencast about gross functional testing. My name is Van Huygens and today I will show you how easy it is to get started with functional testing in Grails. So the nice thing about Grails is that it integrates with Canoe WebTest, a powerful functional testing package. With the Grails command line, you can then scaffold the WebTest for the main class and that way you get some domain specific ready to use example code that you can extend. So let's start, we'll first create a new Grails application. And that application will be called test app. So after this is done, we cd into a new directory and we'll quickly create a domain class. We'll call it class author. And now we add some basic properties to it. So in this case, we're just gonna add some properties like first name and last name. Now let's generate a controller and the views for it. We'll generate all. Again, of course, we choose the all for the main class. And then we'll see if the application is running to get started with web tests. So now we simply type run app to check if the application is running. Right, let's switch, switch to the browser. And whoop, it seems like the author controller is up and running. Great. So let's stop the application. And now we can actually begin with web tests. So the first thing we have to do is to install it, and that's some of Grails create minus web test. So what has been happening? Grills went to the Canoe web servers where WebTest is hosted and download, was downloading the package from there. Then it was installing WebTest into our Grills application. By the way, WebTest is hosted at webtest.canoe.com. So now we can generate a WebTest. Of course, we're going to generate a WebTest for our of the main class. And then we'll take a quick look at it. So you can see there was a file created in author in web test tests author test .groovy. All right. So you can see that it did generate a class that extends from Grails util web test, and you can also see the typical test methods. Just remember that this time it's a functional test, and that's why the sequence of tests is often very important. Let's get out of this file again. And now we simply run the web test with Grails run minus web test. So this will take a while. It will first fire up the Grails project and the Grails server, the Jetty server, and then it will run through all of the web tests. After this is done, we'll then open the report file and we'll see if all the tests have passed. Fine, so let's open the report now. It's in the web test directory, in the reports directory. All right, and here you can see that we've passed all the tests here. And if we scroll down, you can see the um, scenario overview. You can also click on the links here, and you can also, for example, see what happened after the author controller was called, for example, and that way you can, it, this is a pretty handy tool to actually check what was going right and what's going wrong. Okay, so you can see that all tests have passed. We are all happy and that's it for the screencast. I hope you enjoyed watching. Have fun with Grails.